Okay, guys, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, let me make sure we got this action in it. Okay, so uh, what is up, guys? Rudolphers here. We are back. Actually, this is just an update video back on the Spotlight Sim, or basically mean Spotlight Simulation, because it's, simu it's simulating the next or next five games the teams would have had before the uh, league shut down. Um, so let us look back. Uh, so okay um i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the updated changes just in case you're here from the other video um but first and foremost and i'll i'll go ahead and re-break it down just in case you didn't see the other video um but f first and foremost for the spotlight um i learned something new about um the final hall of fame challenge actually you need 10 players um you need 10 players from that team you're playing with so that right there is going to be a little tricky at first i thought it was going to be seven it jumped from six players to seven uh, to six to ten and i thought this this fifth game would be seven so keep that in mind that's something i did not mention in that first video i did not know that because i was only at the third challenge so i finished this whole set and now we also can look at another card um uh what am i doing i have no clue what i'm doing uh I don't know why I went. Yeah, I meant to go to collections. I wasn't in the right area. I just, my brain's fried. Okay, so we ended up getting, I'm, I'm assuming this is the worst card because he's last, but it could not mean anything. But anyways, um, um, we have this new Philly card, 6'6", six, six, uh, Shungar, small four. I didn't know if any, how good any of the cards were. Um, looking at this card, this card's a straight defensive card. I'm um, looking at his offense, um, just... A standard, I mean, he has like the offensive, of, like an amethyst, um, ruby slash you know, type card, maybe even, yeah, yeah, just pretty much amethyst, ruby touch offense. Um, but in terms of defense here, he's a pure just lockdown 98 steel, 99, 98 perimeter, uh, decent block two and interior four. And he's and we're talking about at the shooting guard. So, if, if, so this match plans got the shooting guard. You can't even really switch on this card. He'll still pretty much like it down. Decent speed, um, but uh, not the quickest at all for uh, at this point in the game. 89 for shooting guard uh, slash small for it. It got to be a little quicker than that. But anyways, just looking at more. So I didn't have a card to break down to show you guys how decent it was. Also, 17 Hall of Fame badges. Now, this card actually is a little bit lethal with the badges. I glanced at them earlier, and they're all essential badges. So, just looking at catch and shoot, corner specials, green machine, flexible release, quick first step, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, defensive leader, hard crusher, interceptor, life reflexes, off ball piss, tireless defender, trap, downhill, and contact. So, basically, every offensive badge he has is very useful um, for him. And then um, he has pretty much every defensive badge on Hall of Fame, except Intimidator. It looks like he doesn't have Intimidator. But, man, these badges look really nice on that, uh, that card. I, I I just wish some of my cards were a little bit better off as had, like, badges like this. But, anyways, those are some really, really solid badges. Um, and that really pissed that card in a really good, uh, probably exactly at 95 um, with those badges. Um but so we're gonna break it down a little again if you did not know um but that's just the updates if you were just here for the update from the last video but um we're gonna break it down so people who don't want to have to go watch two videos uh you don't have to so basically this new uh spotlight sim sim which means simulation for uh the nba you can um knock out the uh a set of challenges each team has to go face five teams and it goes from uh, we'll, we'll break into the difficulties in a second. But, you know, e each team, after you beat their challenge, just uh, you unlock a player from their reward here. Um, and then once you complete a uh, conference, you get the East or the West done, you will get a player, uh, depending on which conference you complete. And then um, so you can get Siakam or Ingram. Um, and then if you get both of those cards, you will get uh, Opal Hall of Fame. <laughs> Opal. I say I was gonna say Opal Hall of Fame, but Opal James Harden. So really nice there. Um, it's gonna take quite a bit of grind. Oops. Uh, if I can get my words out, it's gonna take quite a bit of grind. I had a hiccup there to knock that out, but um, it is definitely I think worth it. Um, even just looking at some of these ninety fives, I think so. Say like 
a really like Terrence Ross. I know this guy's gonna be super offensive, so he's gonna be next person I grind, next card I grind for, just because I'm trying to complete the East. So we're gonna go for Terrence Ross and just see. I know he's gonna be super offensive, so we're just gonna see how well he is, and you know, see if some of these cards are really good on offense. I haven't. I probably can easily just um search these cards up to see how well they are on the thing. Um, but I'd rather just get the card and then look at it first. Uh, but I can just easily look online to see those stats and stuff. Um, so, yeah, those are the cards. So, let's glance at the challenges here. They're under spotlight challenges. So, here they are. It's 30 of them. I won't go all the way down. It's a lot. Um, so, it starts from rookie, pro, all-star, superstar, Hall of Fame. It gets really difficult, Hall of Fame. And the reason why is, i see you in just a second. But first, um, basically... Um, Ricky starts off low minutes, uh, four minutes for the pro all star gets to five. Oh no, it's actually four. I didn't, I, I didn't realize all star was only four, five here and five here. Um, so that's uh, not too bad. Um, and then for let's see, okay, so you don't have any like sub sub challenges or anything at these points. You just got to win the game, and you have to have from so rookie you have to have three players. Pro, you have to have four. You have to have five in All-Star. and Superstar, you have to have six. And then, like I searched earlier, Hall of Fame, you have to have ten. So, uh, the third challenge is the only one I've ever seen with, like, a side challenge. So, here it says, win the game and hold the team I was going against the Rockets to 60 points or lower. So, that one's due. That was the only one that had a challenge. None of them else had a challenge besides that one. That was the only one. Now, not too hard. Too straightforward. Um, nothing too bad. Um, just the hardest thing is the players. Now it's not too bad the first four games. You just six six cards. Um, you can have you can have at least two of your own players on the bench squad. Um, but when you have to get to this ten, you have no choice but to have a whole bench squad of the team you're playing as, which is the seventy six or so. For in my instance, in this case, so let me show you guys the team I had to run here. So. I had to run, um, so well, I really hate when this is like that because I want to, but I'm not going to use that card again. So just going to deal with it. I like, I like for it to be clear and no out of contracts on here when I'm displaying something like this. But, uh, so we only had, we, so this whole, the whole bench was 76ers players. And then the whole, we we were able to pick two in a star lineup and then um, that was 10. So you only gonna have three players that are not from that series. So this could be really tricky when you get to a point where, um, like, say I did. Um, not, okay, so here's my main team. Let me guys show you that. This is my main team. So I had to start substituting a lot of players out and had to just pick the main most important players I felt like I needed, or at least. The players that I kind of had to build around, like I had to build around these two, had to be in my star lap. So I kind of had to build around these guys, um, Iguodala and Drew Holiday. Um, looked at grinded out these cards a while back, where it just would have been a lot harder. But because I was able to have pink diamonds in my star lineup, um, it was a little bit easier. But that, yeah, it still was a very hard chance for Hall of Fame and as well. Um, so we we're only able to have three free players of our choice on our lineup, and so our bench was totally useless. At certain points, well, we had this uh, pink diamond, uh, diamond Ben Simmons, so he was okay. Uh, but we have pretty much no bench, so we had to really rely strongly on our starters for like 80% of the game. We put the bench in, and they actually managed to do decent for a little bit. I think they were able to score six points, uh, and we were able to go up, or we were able to kind of close the gap there. We got to overtime, um, and then we, after we got to overtime, uh, we actually managed to win at the end of overtime by like ten points. So we kind of we kind of stepped it up at the end. But uh, yeah, it's really difficult, uh, especially when you're limited to this. So now this this team, I had the benefit of having two pink diamonds that were seventy sixers. Um, so let me see. You might struggle depending on what team you have. So let me just kind of all right. So let me look. So we're gonna start. At 76ers, right? So, Bucks, we got two diamonds, so this looks okay. I'm just trying to see the first thing. Okay, see, Cavs. When I have to use the Cavs, I'm going to have to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't use both of these, so I have to 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually going to pick up two more players. But even even still, my best is a ruby. So I'm going to struggle really hard when it comes to getting to those games because th these rubies are going to have to be in my starting lineup. Except I'm probably going to get some better cards because I have to pick up two more anyway. So I'll probably pick up a diamond or so. But I'm going to struggle up to that point regardless. So just, just keep that in mind when you get to that point um, that you're going to have to run some teams that you may not have a lot of good cards in. And, and like this, I'm good with Celtics. Uh, good with Clippers, looks like. A little, nah, not really, but it probably work. Definitely good with Grizzlies. Um, Hawks are all right. The Heat is okay. Oh, Heat's super super straight. Um, Hornets okay. I was looking okay with the Jazz. Really okay with the Kings. I had been knew I was going to be okay with the Kings a while back. Kings are going to be super solid um, here. Um, Knicks are okay. As long as we get, I'm seeing some diamonds. That's, that's all I need to see. Lakers, okay. Oh, we got LeBron, so okay. Um, I may even have to bust out some of these, um, if I have to, some of these, uh, free agents, which I was saving those for a video. Magic, see, we're going to struggle with the Magic, <laughs> Gonna struggle with them. We go get the Dwight. He's no he's no offense, just straight defense. We're gonna struggle with that. Maverick's gonna struggle there. Gonna, okay. A few amethysts. Should be okay with the Nets. Nuggets, okay. Pacers, okay. Yeah, we straight with them. Yeah. And we're gonna struggle with that. Pelicans big struggle right here. Big struggle. Um very straight with the Pistons. Yeah, we're really straight. Um them Raptors, okay, really nice there. Rockets really okay there. Yep, really okay there. Suns surprisingly okay for the Suns. Was not as big. Thunder okay. Sean Kemp. Get some pink diamonds. Anytime you get two pink diamonds, you're really you're really solid. Blazers. So just kind of do this later and just kind of go through your lineup. It'd be like, am I okay? Because some of these cards, man, you're going to, like, this Warriors, look at this. The, I might, Amethyst Curry from when the game first dropped is going to be my best player. And he's going to, from, from, that I have to use. And that's going to be terrible. So I'm going to rely heavily on, so you're going to have to do two things. You're going to have to rely super heavily on the three cards you choose, which was Chris Paul, my Paul Millsap, and Chris Webber. You have to rely really heavily on those cards, which could be really devastating um, in the long run, so just kind of keep that in mind, uh, it, it, cause you know, they get tired and then they get sluggish and trust me, they will not make open shots when they're tired, especially on Hall of Fame. Um, they won't even have the time, um, what else about these cards, man? Uh, you have to, you're going to have to put the bench in at some point. So, uh, you're gonna, yeah, it's just going to be bad. You're going to need, and you're going to need at least one player solid on the bench that you can kind of they can kind of code it down for you so it, it's gonna take a lot and you know what else i noticed i didn't i sold a card i had opened a pack today it was a sapphire i said oh let me sell it for like 700 750 that was like the minimum back in the day look at look at because of these challenges the challenges have kind of brought a little bit back life you can't even buy any card under 800 anymore that is insane now, this is because some people just did not, don't have no collections at all, and they can't even do some of these spotlight challenges uh, because they have, like, no collection. But that is insane what you have to do. And look look at this. I'm going to have to go and pick this guy up. Oh, wait. What? What? I what? Oh, he's definitely so. But, wow, I just noticed that Brent Berry for the Sonics. That would have been really, really nice. Wow, I don't. All right. Anyways, um, yeah. So the prices have went up for these cars to at least like minimum like nine hundred. And this only reason this dart, this dart was like a, a um, no one needs this card, so no one's gonna buy this card. Cause he was a uh, locker coat. So yeah. So just keep some of this stuff in mind, um, as you. Go through that, man. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anybody I can pick. I should pick up Jamal Murray. 
But for for Nuggets, weren't we looking pretty bad for Nuggets? Shut up. Interesting. And yeah, he's probably a really good player to pick up for OKC as a bench player there for your thing. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. I, I was I was taking it for granted. I knocked out one and that took me just to finish complete that one series it probably took me and I, it was over a space of time because I didn't I wasn't able to just sit down and, and just run through them. Um it took me probably a total of like four hours total to knock off five games out. Um Actually, maybe three hours. Three hours, I think, yeah. Because the first two games were really quick. The, the last three games were, like, the longest. So, maybe a little about three hours. So, yeah, anyways, guys, yeah. I am hope this was a pretty helpful and useful update. Um, And I'll, let me answer the question here. Is it worth Is it? Worth it? Um, In my opinion, in the long run, I'm pretty sure those two pink diamonds, 98 pink diamonds are pretty much opals. And then that James Harden is obviously an opal. So you pretty much almost getting three opals. I haven't looked at the stats for Ingram and uh, what was the other car, Siakam, but I'm pretty darn sure, man, those stats are going to be insanely good this year and this late in the year. So I don't have no worries about the reward. It's just kind of getting through it. Is it worth getting, like, the time? Is it worth, like, you're, like, I think when this Hall of Fame started, I went down, like, 10 points after, like, the second quarter. So I was like, I almost didn't know if I was going to be able to win that one. I somehow managed to win the Hall of Fame. But, uh, yeah, just, just it's going to be a struggle. I'll tell you that. Um, but, yeah, if you know how to play, and I'll probably drop a video, too, on how to beat this. If I can really get a feel like I got a solid method now, I'll probably drop a video on that. Um, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to your channel if you want to. Um, leave a comment, too, if you if you really thought about what you thought you liked in the video, what was helpful or what you think about this new Spotlight series. Um, but, yeah, either way, um, hope you guys enjoy. We're at Adversity. We're out. Peace.